we had an estate sale about a year and a half ago. My father passed away in December of 2018, and so we had uh, six months after he outran us to heaven. My brother established and tried to organize a state sale. It happened, I think, in the end of that summer. And so the guy who came out has been doing it for like 30-some years, and he's experienced. And my brother said, uh, he said, I was getting ready to throw away a whole shelf of things. And mom and dad had barns, outbuildings, tractors, three tractors, and all kinds of stuff. I hated, oh, I hated to see that John Deere go. I've cut a lot of field with that. I bush hogged a lot of acreage with that John Deere 40 tractors, a 55 model. But we had this estate sale, and when Clay went into the part of that, uh, one of those sheds, and said, I was just going to throw all these trinkets and everything away. It's just junk. He said, it's just junk. And the estate sale guy said, don't do it. He said, do you realize how much this stuff's worth? And Clay said, it's worth nothing. I'm going to either throw it away or give it to the salvation. He said, I'm telling you, trust me, we're going to put all of this, we're going to redisplay it, and that's exactly what the guy did. Some of those trinkets sold for $15, $20, $25, and $30 a piece. Clay was scratching his head. One man's junk is another man's treasure. You don't know how much something's worth until you know how much somebody would pay for it. Can I ask you to just hold on to this thought for just a moment? Would you please just let this settle in? In your rushed, hurried, busy world, don't worry about what you're going to do after you leave here today. Don't worry, online community, what you're going to be getting to or whatever. Just stop whatever you're doing right at home. And I want you to hear this question. Has it ever dawned on you how much you're worth to God. Jesus took your place on the cross. He died for you. He gave his life for you. There is no greater love, Jesus said, that a man can have than for that man to lay down his life for another. He took your place on the cross. He took your sins and my sins. That's how valuable you are to him.